Hello to all my viewers. This is Dr. Dawal Mehta, and today we will understand how to carry out one way ANOVA in Excel. One way ANOVA, also known as analysis of variance, is a statistical method used to compare the means of three or more groups to determine whether there are statistically significant differences among them. It assesses whether the means of the groups are significantly different from each other by examining the variance within each group compared to the variance between the groups. Now, how is it different from t-test? Let's try to understand. So, we'll start with the one sample t-test. In case of one sample t-test, the sample mean is compared with the population mean. The null hypothesis is there is no significant difference between the population mean and the sample mean. In independent sample t-test, we are comparing two groups, only two groups two independent groups. The example is male, female, the weight of male and female, marks of section A and section B. I'll request all my viewers to kindly refer my previous video to understand the flow of this tutorial. The null hypothesis which is framed is there is no significant difference in the means of two groups. Independent sample t-test, uh, it is before and after, before the workshop and after the workshop. What is a gain in the knowledge and our null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in means before and after the treatment. Now how the ANOVA is different from the t-test? The first thing which is there is that here the number of groups are more than two and it should start from three or it can be more than three. One, two, three. So null hypothesis is there is no significant difference in marks of more than two groups. Now, the alternative hypothesis is a little bit tricky. The reason is, we are not writing here that there is a significant difference in marks of uh, more than two groups. We don't write alternative hypothesis like this way because the difference can be between this group and this group, this group and this group, and this group and this group. So, that, so there are three pairs, one, two, and three. And uh, we will write this uh, alternative hypothesis is, there is significant difference in at least one pair. In at least one pair. There is a significant difference in marks in at least one pair. So how we can uh, carry out ANOVA in Excel? Let's see. We'll take one example. So here we are having the marks of section A, section B, section C. Now the hypothesis is. There is no significant difference in the marks according to the sections and we want to carry out ANOVA. Make sure that you, ins uh, that you install the data analysis tool pack. How we can do it? Go in files, options, add-ins, click on analysis tool pack, go, click here analysis tool pack, click OK. Now click on data and the data analysis tab will appear. Click on it. So we'll start with ANOVA single factor. Click OK. So we have to select the range from section A till the last data. Make sure that you click on labels are in first row. Click OK. Done. And your result is ready. I'll simply copy this result in my Word file so that we can write the interpretation. OK. What is hypothesis? Null hypothesis, there is no significant difference in marks according to the sections. Alternative hypothesis, there is significant difference in marks of at least one pair of two sections. This means that the difference can be between section A and section B, section B and section C, and section A and section C. Let's see the p-value. Now this p-value is more than 0 0.05. So our interpretation is as the p-value is more than 0 0.05, we fail to reject null hypothesis, which means that there is no significant difference in marks of three sections. So this is the mean, or mean of section A, mean of section B, and mean of section C. In case, if this value was less than 0 0.05, we would have rejected the null hypothesis and we would, highlight, we would have highlighted that which uh, section is having more marks in comparison to the other sections. Now the same thing we can represent with the help of box plots also. Let's again go, let's uh, go to the data. Now select this, insert, 
click in the histograms and box and viscous plot. So this dark line is a is a median. So we can see that this, this is for section A. So section A is comparatively the mean marks are higher in comparison to section B and section C. So this was all about how to conduct one way or no way in Excel. For more videos on Excel, kindly subscribe to my channel. You can also refer my playlist in which I have uploaded tutorials on data science, machine learning and artificial intelligence. Please don't forget to like and share my videos. You can also follow me on different social medias. Link given in the description box.